Hey, welcome back to my new video. I'm Rappacon and today I want to show my self-made rope bag. But at first, some background information. I often do things with ropes and for now I often use big bags or just put it, the rope on top of my backpack. But sometimes when I go tactical and I want to bring my rope or even only to bring it in my car or to carry it around when I'm driving, a rope bag is quite useful. So I decided to make a rope bag really fast. Then I posted a story on Instagram and some people asked me about it. some more information to this rope bag. So this is why I make this video, because it was just like a fast project, fast finishing this rope bag. And so I didn't make a video on how I made it. But now I want to do like a um, make your own gear review. So I want to show you what I made and why I made this rope bag like this. It's only a prototype, there are some things to it I don't really like, but you will see. So now come closer. So this is the rope bag. At first the material is mostly from Tactical Trim. They retail raw materials for your do-it-yourself projects, so make sure to check them out. Yeah, for me it was important that my 60 meter Teufelberger rope, which is 11 millimeters, Static fits inside. So this is why it's relatively long and I have long legs, so that's not a big problem. For me, it was also important that it's strong and durable and can be clipped to my tactical harness or battle belt. Now, the outside is 1000 in year Cordura, so it's really strong. This is a webbing, 25 millimeters. This is a leg loop with some elastic inside. So I can use this here or even here. On the bottom, I made a hole with some laminate. So it's stronger, cut a hole inside. So when water comes inside, it can drop out or flew out. At the beginning, I wanted to use this for the stopper knot, but I redone it up here. So now it's only the hole to make water uh, go away. Here is the hole for stopper knot. So the stopper knot is on the outside of the bag, so you can easily inspect it and see that the stopper knot is inside. I've seen this uh, on the rope bags from Axel Manns and I really like the idea. So this is why I have also done it that way. And it's up here, so it doesn't annoy me and it doesn't get stuck on rocks or stangling around somewhere. Up here is a female buckle, 40 millimeter, so I can clip it to my belt. On my belt I have the male buckle, uh, yeah, but only one buckle is not really strong or not really um, keeping it tight to the leg. And so sometimes I'm using also the second loop, which I will talk about later. I think when I do the next one of these rope bags, I will add two of these buckles so and make them a bit with the spacing between and then it will be more tight on the leg and will not swing around that lot that much. Yeah, this loop is to put a carabiner inside. So if I want to fill the rope inside the rope bag, I can really easy clip this to my tie-in point and then put the rope inside. Up here is a handle, so I can grab it and carry the rope bag around. And it's easier to work with like that. Now, yeah, you can see it's really long. You can, ca can compare it to my arm. So this is why I attach this, so I can make it shorter. But it doesn't really work as expected. So next time I will think about doing something inside so I can make it shorter from the bottom. So I can compress it here and make it just shorter. If the rope is a smaller diameter or just a shorter rope. But for now it's okay and I can try if it, maybe there's a option that it works like this. But yeah, I like the size because 60 meters and maybe even 70 meter will fit inside. Now, you can see it's relatively basic outside. Now, here is a zipper. It's not covered, so dirt will come inside and it will get abused. So I think when I do a rope bag next time, I will make a flap to cover up the zipper. Yeah, why the zipper? 
I like the idea of a tight rope bag that is not too big from the diameter. But when you want to fill it with the rope and you want to put the rope inside, this can be annoying if you only have a small opening. So this is why I added this uh, cord up here with the stopper. And this is the regular opening made from Multicam Heavy Mesh, so it's also this design feature. Okay, some anchor material inside. Don't need this. And the zipper goes all the way almost to the bottom. And inside there's this big triangle, so I have extra material. So now when I clip this to my harness, the opening is much bigger, so it's easier to put the rope inside. And then when it's inside, I just have to compress it a bit, close the zipper, and then the rope bag gets tight again. You can also close it up here. Yeah, you can see there's extra space, so I could even make the rope bag shorter. But for now, I will keep it that way. I will test it, how it works for me. And then in the next one, I will make improvements to make it fit even better and to make it even more practical to use. Now I want to stand up and show you the ideas on my harness. So now with the handle, it's really easy to carry it around. Then here I have the buckle and I have the other part on the belt relatively in the back. You can clip it. Now you can see it's really free to move and it's quite low. So with this, there's the idea to tighten it make it a bit higher but I think next time I will place the buckle lower so the whole rope back sits higher then the leg strap can be used like this it's a bit annoying since it's moving around a lot so I can also use an extender or quick draw add it to this loop to the tie-in point and then it's a bit more tight on the leg. Now if I want to fill the rope inside, I can just undo this buckle, have the rope back in front of me hanging on a quick draw or a carabiner. I can open the zipper, so the opening is really big. Now with the big opening, it's really easy if I clip a carabiner on my tie-in point and then I can just put the rope in really easy and fast. Yeah, here I use a bunny ear knot, so I have two loops. So when I arrive somewhere where I have two bolts, just need two carabiners, clip it in and I'm ready to go. Now closing the zipper. Yeah, so that's basically it. That's it. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe, give me a thumbs up if you want. And here are other videos from my channel.